98.3 LPFM. Sancho Local Show in effect. I have a very, very special guest on the line. And uh, first of all, I want to say that I'm a big fan of this person. Howard Johnson, how are you doing? I'm smoking. How are you, sir? Pretty good. So I uh, see, you know, I'm a big fan of everything that you've done in the past. So I, you know, I don't want to get stuck in the past, but for those people that don't regularly listen to old school and the new generation, I, I just want to let them know that you've done, you, your catalog is insane. You have so many hits, so many songs, and uh, you're now performing in different places. And uh, one of my favorite songs is So Fine, but, you know, I, I could go on forever about that. Uh, what have you been up to lately? Wow, I've been working on a new album called Tell that'll be out during the summertime. But in the interim, you know, I produced and wrote Barry White's last big hit, Put Me In Your Mix. I did Tupac's uh, remix of I Get Around Me and Battle Cat. I did Madonna, Boys to Men. I was three of the voices on the Five Heartbeats movie. I was a couple of voices on the American Dream, the Jackson 5 story. So, you know, I've been working quite a bit over in Europe for the past, you know, six, seven years. And uh, now that you're traveling and stuff, I I'm sure you've watched the music industry grow from when you initially started. What are your thoughts on today's music and where, where it has transpired to? What's going on? You know, with, you know, you got Chris Brown now. You got the music has changed. Even, even rap, you know, you speaking about rap, uh, redoing the Tupac song. Uh, now rap has significantly changed. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think every, everything has to evolve, but I was once told by a great producer that we don't really even need any more new music because we can literally die off of Motown, right. which is crazy. But, you know, everything has an evolution, and I think music kind of going through an evolutionary kind of period right now, but it all seems to always come back to old school. Yeah, isn't that isn't that funny? Like, um, you know, I was talking to a, a producer the other day, and he, they, I was like, you know, um, why do they keep the originals for? And the, he says because you know what, uh, they always go back to the old stuff. And so, I know a lot of people have sampled, you know, everybody's. They sample Roger Troutman. They sampled, you know. Uh, the Commodores, and they've even probably sampled your stuff, right? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'm headed to London in March, and a guy over there, Craig David, did uh, So Fine and changed it into something totally different. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and it's called Rendezvous, Rendezvous. Yeah. Dun, dun. There you go. Um, you know what? I was going to ask you, uh, since, you do, since you're a producer, what are your thoughts on – uh, the new production, because before there was, you know, when people were recording and they were in the studio, you had to have the acoustics just right. You were in the, you know, you mic the instruments individually. And now all of the outboard gear has kind of consolidated into uh, computers. What are your thoughts on the production nowadays? I mean, now that you can record on Cakewalk or, or uh, you know, what, what's the other one that they use? Um, Logic Pro and all yeah, the Pro, Pro Tools, uh, Fruit Loops. I mean, there's so many different ones out there. And I think w without, you know, being condescending to anyone, I think music had been down so much over the years. Most people can't distinguish between the brutal sound of CDs and the warm sound of vinyl. That's why the, the, everything that I'm working on from this point is going to be on vinyl. It's a, yo, let me take you back to what it used to be and where, where we got our vibe. It was all about vibe and, and a great. So, so are you actually? You're you're breaking up a little bit, but are you actually uh, producing vinyl, like replicated vinyl, so people can purchase that? Oh, absolutely. That it's is going to be vinyl only. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one of your biggest customers, man. I'm telling you, it, <laughs> it, because I have I have a vinyl collection in my garage, and I mean, uh, I, I have your records. I have a lot of you know Midnight Star. Um, I'm not sure if you, you you've worked with the Callaway Brothers or, um, but yes, yes, I have. Yeah, so I know I I know Reggie, and my uncle knows Reggie. Um, but uh, you know, there's nothing like the old school sound, and especially vinyl, because. You know, digital audio waves are, are, are they're very limited in, in terms of frequency, but right. 
but analog, man, you just you get that wide sound, you get that deep bass, the high frequencies. Yep, absolutely. So, so I'm excited that I'm actually excited now. Now you got me pumped up. <laughs> yeah. So, so when people when people are looking for this this new music that you got going on, where can they find this new music at? They can go to howardjohnsonmusic.com. Or they can find me on Facebook. And I think on Facebook, I'm Howard Johnson 940. And then they can find me on Instagram at Hojo Music, H O J O Music. So I'm definitely around, and people can stay tuned there and see where I'm performing. Uh, I just released two uh, 45 on vinyl on uh, a label in uh, the UK. Uh, and two of those things should be released within the next few weeks here. Oh, that is awesome. You, you know, um, can you give me, and I don't know if this is asking too much, um, can you give me a few bars, something from the new album? Ah, something from the new album. Yeah. Let me see, what, what, what would I say? Baby, I will do my best. Baby, I will do yeah, there's, oh there's wow, man! Stuff on this new album. Oh, that yeah, that is awesome, man. I I thought it was Mariah Carey. You were hitting those high notes. <laughs> I was like, wow, man, where's Mariah? At? But hey, I didn't know you had that range, brother. I'm telling you, man, oh, you're, ta- you're talented. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank I, I got, you, thank you. I got a real quick shout out from somebody that's uh, listening, and it's your friend Jessica. She says, "Tell Sir Hojo." Jessica sends her love. Her and Eric uh, say hi to you. Um, oh. Love back at him. I love those people. They're great people, great and, friends. And um, can you let everybody know one more time where they can find all your stuff at? And and uh, I won't take up too much more of your time. I I thank you for having me. No problem. You. Yeah. Anytime. Howard Johnson Music. dot com. Howard Johnson Music. dot com. Or you can find me at Facebook. Howard Johnson nine four zero. At Facebook and Instagram, I'm Hojo Music. H O J O music hey i appreciate you being on the show if you're ever in orange county in the garden grove area let me know i'd love to have you on um howard johnson you have yourself a good night i'm gonna be looking out for the new album i'm gonna put it it. i'm gonna put it out there have a good night man thank you bye-bye all right you heard it here first sancho local show 